All right, boys, welcome to a brand new video. Uh, for this one, we'll be talking about the struggle mechanics within submissions. Um, it's very important for you guys to understand exactly how this works. It has been explained in the past, but a lot of people are still having some trouble with it. And I will, I, I'll see if I can explain this in a way that you guys will understand it so that moving forward, you're not confused, okay? So <clears throat> when you go to the game help, and you go to where it says submission offense, right? And you scroll down to stamina effects right here. It gives you like a, a, a brief dis description of how stamina plays a role in submissions. Right there it tells you having lower stamina than your opponent will make your moves slower and theirs faster. Struggles drain stamina from both fighters. Within submissions, fighters can't deny at zero stamina. Denying a fake drains more stamina from the denier than the faker. <clears throat> The two last points are very important to keep in mind. Within submissions, fighters cannot deny at zero stamina. And that is, you cannot deny the actual submission finish. And if you're the person that put your opponent in a submission, you can't deny their escape in either direction if you have zero stamina. So for both fighters, if you have zero stamina, you cannot deny anything. And so the goal regardless of who you are, if someone puts you in a submission and you want to escape, the goal, the number one goal, is to try to get your opponent's stamina to zero because then they cannot deny. And if you are the person that is putting an opponent in, some, in a submission, your goal is to try to get to drain their stamina fully because you know if you drain their stamina fully, they cannot deny your attempt to actually finish the submission. Okay? The second point right there, fakes. Denying a fake drains more stamina from the denier than the faker. I've, heard, I've seen a lot of people saying, um, the fakes are too slow. I know you tell us to fake our escape, but when I fake, I get denied. You want to get denied. When you fake an escape, and if someone puts you in a submission and you fake an escape, and they deny it, that's exactly what you want. Because when you deny the fake, you get a stamina boost. As it says right there, denying a fake drains more stamina from the person who denied it and the faker gets a stamina boost so we're going to go into practice mode and i'm going to pick two fighters right here probably going to do islam makachev versus charles Oliveira. Uh, make sure we have stamina turned on so that you guys can see how the stamina plays and i'm going to do this with two controllers right here all right so we're going to go i'm going to go lightweight we're going to go islam and we're going to go charles Oliveira. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like in practice, okay? Um, all right, so say you're using you're using Islam Makachev and you take down a Charles Oliveira player and the Oliveira player puts you in a triangle choke, all right? Now, to perform the struggle mechanic for either fighter, you do it by holding R1, all right? Now, regardless of who holds R1, whether it's Charles Oliveira, the, Charles, the Oliveira player, or the Islam Makachev player, the moment you hold R1, you'll notice that both fighters' stamina will begin to drain at the same time. And that is the short-term stamina. So pay attention to the stamina right now, as I'm going to hold R1 as Charles Oliveira. Watch this. See that? It is draining at the same exact time, and they will both... I know, I know. And they will both hit zero at the same time. Boom. See that? Now I'm going to do the same exact thing with the Islam Makachev player. All right? Islam Makachev player holds R1. Both fighters' stamina begins to drain at the same exact rate. And you're both going to hit zero at the same time. Okay? This is the struggle mechanic. All right? So now, what is the tactic? What's the game? Why Why is this in here? Why did they add this? They added this because without the struggle mechanic, this becomes a stalemate. If you are Charles Oliveira and you go to actually submit, you go to submit the opponent, right? I see that and I'll deny it very easily. The deny is always up. So it becomes a stalemate right here. It becomes a game of who's going to move first. And it's very easy to read those animations. So we're, we're, we're both sitting down right here. And then Islam Makachev begins to move. Yeah, Islam, Islam Makachev begins to move. 
right there. Charles easily denies it. He goes left. Charles easily denies it. So it, it'll, it'll just become a big fat stalemate right here. And whoever moves first gains an advantage because of grapple advantage. So you're not going to want to go first. This is what used to happen when me and Romero first started playing the game. We would enter a submission and then we would both play a, a waiting game where I don't want to go. He doesn't want to go because if I go first, then he denies me. Then he gets an advantage. The struggle mechanic is there to break that. To break that stalemate. So what happens is, notice right now that Charles Oliveira has a little bit more stamina than Islam Makachev, okay? So if I am the Charles Oliveira player and I notice this, the moment I put him in a submission, I know that if I begin to struggle, because I have more stamina right now, he's going to hit zero before I do. And I already know if he hits zero, I can submit him easily, all right? So if I'm Charles Oliveira, I will begin to struggle right there. Now watch. And I'll and then I'll watch. Watch Islam hit zero first. Right there. Boom. Islam hits zero first. And because I know he's gonna hit zero first, I'm gonna immediately attack the submission the moment his stamina hits zero. Now, that's the game. And if you're Charles Oliveira and you know that's what's happening. The way to take that advantage from him is by faking. Because when you fake and your opponent denies it, you get a stamina boost, okay? So, let me just make sure that I am... All right, so this is Charles... This is uh, this is Islam Makachev. This is... It's hard to do this with two controllers, so bear with me. This is Charles Oliveira, all right? So, let's say that I begin to, to struggle to try to drain Charles Oliveira... Um, to, to drain... Islam Makachev's stamina, all right? I begin to struggle right here. And then Islam fakes, and I deny the fake. Watch what happens. See that? Look at the stamina. Woo! Pause it right there. Watch whose stamina comes back first. Islam Makachev. Let's do it again. Charles Oliveira. I'm Charles Oliveira. I begin to struggle to, struggle to drain... Islam Makachev to get his stamina to zero before mine. Islam sees this. He fakes a transition hoping that I bite on it because it gives him a stamina boost, all right? So this is Charles draining. Islam fakes. I deny it. Now watch the stamina. Islam's stamina is going to get back first. Boom. That is your advantage. So what's the game? Here's the game. So let's say that I am Charles Oliveira. I begin to drain Islam Makachev. Islam sees that. Fakes, denies it. Hold on. Let's do it again. I, I messed that one. Right there. Islam fakes, deny. You notice that he denied it. Then you begin to struggle. Watch who hits zero first. Charles hits zero first. You see what just happened? You fake the transition. They deny it. You notice that you just got a stamina boost. Now you begin to drain the stamina. Now you begin to struggle. Because you now know I get the stamina boost. The moment I start to drain him, pause. The moment I start to uh, drain his stamina by struggling, he's going to now hit zero before me. And when he hits zero, I get a free escape. All right? So just to demonstrate that when you hit zero, you get a free escape, I'm going to drain... This is Charles Oliveira. I'm going to drain the stamina all the way. And then I'm going to try right here. Right, right now we're at zero. I'm going to try to deny Islam Makachev's attempt to escape. Right there. You can't deny it. He gets a free escape. Okay? Let's say I'm Charles Oliveira. And I am able to drain... Is, I am, I'm able to drain... Hold on, let me get him, get him back in the submission. I'm Charles Oliveira, and I begin to drain all the way, and the stamina hits zero. If you're Islam Makachev, and your stamina is at zero, and I try to lock in a triangle choke, you can't deny it. Right there. Right there. You can't deny it. And so that's the game that you're playing. The game that you're playing is, do whatever you can to enter seamless submission with a stamina advantage. So... 
if you're if you're using Charles Oliveira, for example, and you know you want to submit your opponent, do a good job in the stand up by not whiffing. Um, don't overextend. Force your opponent to make mistakes and and drain their own stamina. And, and then when you take them down, you're already at a stamina lead. And then when you get down there, a multitude of different things could could create a stamina lead. Let's say let's say you I am Islam. You know, let's say I'm Charles Oliveira and I put Islam Makachev in a submission right here, okay? And Islam Makachev makes the mistake of trying to escape and I deny him. Now, I get a stamina boost and I start to drain. Look who hits zero first. And then I go. You see that? That's the tactic. So, Islam makes a mistake of trying to escape. I deny him. I get a stamina boost because I denied him. Then I immediately begin to struggle. And I go, 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 go. Because I know his stamina is going to hit zero first. And then if you're Islam and you notice that happen. Let's say, you know, let's, let's, do, let's do this. This is a, it's a, I love this because it's a, it creates a lot of mind games. It creates a lot of mind games. So let's say that you're Charles Oliveira and you put Islam in a, in a submission right here. And Islam makes the mistake for some reason of trying to escape and I deny it. I get a stamina boost and I start to drain him right there. He fakes. I deny the fake. He gets a stamina boost and he begins to drain. Right there. And then once you get here, what I would do, what I would do is usually, usually if you're the Charles Oliveira player, you're not just going to wait while he's draining because you'll notice, oh shit, now my stamina is going. And so while you're draining his stamina, camp on that deny because he'll probably try to finish the choke. Nope. Deny it. Then you begin to drain him. And then as you drain him completely, you go. I can't deny that. Look at that. You see that? So that's the game. Once you understand how the struggle mechanic works, then it, it's, it's going to be up to you as the player to get creative. The reason I love this submission system so much, the reason to me it is such a huge deal in this game and, and why... This is the most fun. Like, this is where I have the most fun. I take it down here, and it becomes a legit chess match every single time. And when you run into an opponent that knows exactly what they're doing, you guys can spend a long time in, in, in a submission just fighting. He struggles. You try to go. He denies you. Then he begins to struggle. Then he fakes. You deny his fake. He sees you denied his fake. Then you go. He fakes. You don't bite on his fake. His stamina goes down and you begin to drain him. He goes, oh shit. He goes again. You deny his fake. He gets a stamina boost. He begins to drain your stamina. You go, oh shit. Do I try to lock in a submission or do I change positions? It is a complex system. It has a lot of layers. The, um, the skill ce ceiling is very high, which is why if you run into someone that doesn't know what they're doing in seamless submissions, you can finish them so easily just because of how deep it is. So spend time learning how the struggle mechanic works. It is very, very important, especially when you run into someone that's good. Once you enter submission, once they get you into a submission, don't panic, relax, calm down, okay? The biggest mistake people make is you put them in a submission and they start doing this. They go, oh shit, oh shit. They go left, you deny it. Then they go right, they go right, you deny it. Then they go left again, they go left again, you deny it. They're just spamming left and right, and right here, you're dead, right? You go left again, I deny this, and with this stamina lead, I can get a one-shot submission. I mean, look at how much it just damaged Islam Makachev's uh, submission bar, and Islam has very high sub-defense. The last thing you want to do is panic like that. You don't want to go left and right and left and right because... Players are learning how to de deny you in, in submissions. They're learning the tells, the animations. And some of them are very, very, very easy to deny, okay? Like, for example, if I go side control right here, if I go Kimura and I chain this into an arm bar with uh, Charles Oliveira, this arm bar submission right here, this is very, it's a, it's a great camping position because 
You go, you go right. I already see you're going right. You go left. I see you're going left. It's I can hold somebody here till in, infinity and beyond. So spazzing out of control, spamming left and right. You're when you're doing this, you're just hoping your opponent makes a mistake. You're you're hoping he he fucks up the deny and you and you escape. You're not playing intelligently. The same exact way that you wouldn't spam escapes over and over again, right? Let's say that I freaking let's say that I'm in side control and you're Islam Makachev, right? The same way that if you're Charles Oliveira, you're not gonna freaking go do this and do this again and then do this and then do this. Come on, get out of here. And then do this and drain your own stamina. Freaking just spazzing all up. The same way you wouldn't do this in the grappling. The same way you would take your time. Try to build grapple advantage. Try to move when you believe you have enough. The same way you wouldn't do that. Don't do that when you find yourself in a submission. Relax. Calm down. Take a breath. Know that you're okay. Camp on the deny. Do not worry about anything else. Learn all the tales for the denies, okay? If I am Charles Oliveira and I get you into a Darce choke, when it's time to finish the Darce, I'm gonna walk towards you like this. The moment you see this, hold R2 and up. In fact, here's the rule. Until you learn this submission system properly, if your opponent puts you into a submission, okay, and you see any movement towards you, Immediately hold R2 and flick up. That's the rule. Movement towards you now. Not not if not, not if they're doing this, right? This this is this is just the drain animation. And some people can use the drain animation to confuse you. I do it all the time. Like some drain animations look like the beginning stages of a of a of a submission lock-in, like this one right here. You know, I can do this, fake, fake, and then go. But don't don't let that fool you. The moment you see them coming towards you, hold R2 and flake up. Don't worry about anything else. And if you do that, that's going to be a big boost in your submission defense. Okay? This video has been unnecessarily long, but it had to be long like this, I think, so that I, I make a lot of emphasis and you guys understand exactly what I am saying. Um, later on, I will uh, probably... I'll make more videos on the submissions and talk about some more advanced tactics for when you guys actually get better at it. But for now, focus on learning the struggle mechanic. Don't be afraid of getting yourself put in submissions. Go online. Go online. Go on quick match. Enter a submission. Allow people to put you in submissions. Don't worry too much about winning every single fight. You're not going to learn the game that way. When someone puts you in a submission, don't run away. Don't quit out the match. L look at that as an opportunity to get better, okay? If you lose and they submit you, that's okay. And I know it, piss you know, it, it pisses you off. Just take a breath. It's okay. Do it again. And do it again and do it again and do it again. And eventually, you're not going to be getting submitted anymore. No one submits me right now besides Romero, that freaking asshole. <laughs> besides him, nobody submits me because I... like at. For me, it needs a buff, in my opinion, just because I've learned how to defend myself in this position. And when you learn it too, you'll realize it is not OP. It is a well thought out system. It is a deep, complex, and beautiful system. And you'll start to enjoy it, okay? So go ahead and practice. Let me know how everything works out for you boys. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.